Yesterday, the Michigan women's team blew a 20-point first-half lead against Wisconsin. The team allowed 23 offensive rebounds. Suffice it to say, Wolverine head coach Kevin Borseth, not a happy camper after the game. That's how I feel. Damn sick and tired of getting out rebounded. 25 offensive rebounds. First time we block out, we get called for a damn block out. We're pushing people. Meanwhile, they're on the other court grabbing rebounds, going over the top and grabbing them. We get one offensive rebound, the other we get called for over the back. So we, we don't block out very damn well, and we're not getting called one or the other. That's where I'm frustrated. That's where my whole frustration comes in, offensive rebounds. The entire thing came down to offensive rebound. They got every stinking offensive rebound, and we didn't get one of them. What else do you want to know? Watch them. 48 more hours of videotape, gain another 10 pounds. That's how you get ready for Sunday, okay? Bust my tail end of trying to get videotape so I can get those kids ready. So when Sunday rolls around, we're ready to play. Will they be ready to play mentally? Yes. I got to believe they're in that locker room just totally peeved. I would believe that totally. Will they be ready to play Sunday? Absolutely. Will this bother them? No. It'll fuel their fire, if nothing else. It's certainly going to fuel mine. So maybe we should put some pads on like that guy from Oklahoma State did. Put football pads or basketball turned into that kind of game. So we can rebound a little better. I'm not going to sleep. Sorry, I apologize, but I'm very frustrated. TV, I, I know you. I know you've been there. Hey, man, you can't offensive rebound. How you going to win a game? <laughs> I'm frustrated. He's frustrated. We're all frustrated. I'm I know, sorry. I know I'm you, sorry. I know you feel his pain. I'm yeah. sorry. Scale of 1 to 10, yeah. rate the rant. 7. 7, because he's not a big name. If he was a big name, it'd be a 9 yeah. or a 10, but I never heard of him. I've been calling out how Oklahoma State and Eddie Sutton for putting on the, the helmet and shoulder pads. I think it's a 6, okay? Much, you know, they're... There wasn't any, we don't know how old he is, okay? There wasn't any calling out of generally society. Where is it? I'm a man, I'm 40. It's Division I football. It's the Big 12. It's not a Dan Hawkins rant. It's not a, uh, you know, it's not a Mike Gundy rant. It was good. Not even a Jim uh, Moore you know, I dumped I dumped oranges on a Yale captain one time, but at least I kept it in the locker room. You know, you know what, you know what, I, I honestly, no no cursing in it. So at least that that's was good. because no media was actually covering uh, the game. Joe, what do you think? I got to yeah, say. but I think that's what makes it an eight was he makes his point, no profanity, has the gestures, sneaks in a little zinger to the officials There you well. go. <laughs> Very high quality, packed a lot into a short period of time. And then he was repentant at the end. Absolutely. I mean, it was all there. Humble. It was the seven deadly <laughs> sins in one rank. There were six people in the room. If not for the video camera, this never happened. You know what? We're going to check that score Sunday, aren't we? We're yeah, going to check oh, yeah. Something tells me it put some bodies on people.